Concerns swirling about a mega energy project in China. The country recently approving a plan to construct the world's largest hydroelectric dam in southern Tibet. The project could cost as much as 137 billion US dollars, more than any other single infrastructure bill on the planet. It will be built on the Yalong Sangpo River, that's the longest in Tibet. The exact location is unclear, but reports suggest it could be built near the Great Bend in Tibet. That's close to the border between China and India. Or here the river drops 2,000 metres over a short distance of just 50 kilometres. The idea is to harness the river's energy as it pushes, as it rushes down the bend. The 2,900-kilometre waterway flows across the Tibetan plateau to India and then Bangladesh. The mega dam is expected to have an installed capacity of 60,000 megawatts. It will generate three times more energy than the Three Gorges Dam. That's the world's largest by maximum output. Also topping the list of mega dams in China, that's the Baihetan and the Silotu on the Qingsha River, or that's the upper course of the Yangtze. This is how it will compare with other power plants by capacity. China's Three Gorges Dam can produce more than 22,000 megawatts. A Baihetan is second at 16,000. In third place, Itaipu Dam. It's situated along the border of Brazil and Paraguay, with the countries sharing the output. Chinese state media says the hydropower project is a major move in the country's transition to green energy. A hydroelectricity is the world's biggest source of renewable energy, making up 40% of total capacity ahead of solar and wind. But there are challenges. The construction site sits on an area that is prone to earthquakes and landslides. Earlier this month, Tibet was rocked by a powerful quake that killed more than 120 people. The project also stoking environmental and security concerns in India at a time of a seemingly warmer ties between Beijing and New Delhi. Earlier we spoke to Amit Ranjan, a research fellow at the Institute of South Asian Studies at the National University of Singapore. He looked at potential trade-offs in the push for green energy. Like when we talk about the activity green energy, uh, uh, by building hydropower projects and other uh, taking other necessary measures, it impacts people, especially those who are uh, who stay in uh, the, those projects. So it's a very you know a very uh, tricky situation how you move how you move. Uh, if you look at uh, uh, the media reports, uh, especially the non-Chinese, there have been uh, lots of protests in uh, Tibet also last year also, and there we also protest on other uh, pro projects because many on Tibet they believe that these dams with the help of these dams, the people in the mainland China are going to get benefit and not us. And there's also a displacement in everything. So uh, you know, it's a very tricky situation to say uh, whether you have to go for development or uh, displacement uh, it's, uh, or, or save involvement. So uh, whatever the state, whatever the whosoever is in power, he or she has to look at the both sides. Both sides so that you, you do not disturb uh, environmental and the development balance. 